students, uh, you know, when I joined AICT, that's the time Chat GPT was sort of announced. That was last year. Okay? Chat GPT 4 came out. Then, you know, one, one evening, I was just sitting and thinking about, I just joined AICT to understand what it does. Because many of us, when Anchor told us I understood what AICT is, I am one of the graduate. But I'll let me tell you, from my last one year, many of them have not understood what AICT does. So when recently we announced that we will also, you know, monitor the quality of our undergraduate management education, there's a big hue and cry. They were worried why AICT is taking over. We are running this very effectively. I just wanted to tell them AIC is not taking anything. Okay, AICT is not an institution for that. AICT is all in the course for technical education is a standard setting body. It's only set the quality parameters for us to evaluate in an higher education, particularly in the area of technical education. So there, you know, we are not only handheld, so we actually, as a body, started even as a 1945, as an advisory body to the government of India, then British government. In 87, when large number of engineering institutions mushroomed in the country, particularly in the state of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh then, Tamil Nadu, okay, and Maharashtra. So 87, there was an act came in and made as a regulator. And coming back to the AI, when I was sitting, you know, I wanted to understand what AICT does, so let me see what these artificial intelligent models, chart chart bots, have understood about AICT. Believe me, when I asked to write, it threw, threw about 15, 20 pages of all, because it's all what is there in the internet. It just collated and threw at me back within 10 seconds. So I was not very happy because I was not able to read that 10, 10 15 pages. So I said, I don't know what it came to my mind. I said, write a poem about AACT covering everything. Believe me, in 10 seconds, there was a beautiful poem about AACT covering all its activities than better than under, what I understood by that time. That's a mind boggling. Then immediately, I mean, I was not satisfied. That is a human being, you know. I said, write this poem in Hindi. In another five seconds, an Hindi poem covering the activities of AACT was out there with four stanzas. Or even a computer science professor is scared today. Why? If he gives an assignment to write a code, student will submit a code written by chat GPT to the teacher. That code is much better than what a human being can write. Okay? At least up, as of now. Maybe not a very complex thing. So you could see now the threats of AI also coming in. So we need to now, friends, need to debate, discuss what are the positive effects of AI, what are the ill effects of AI, and how ethically we could use the AI. That's the way CTE has set up a committee to look at, to address, to understand how effectively we can use. Friends, all of us, all of you are here, I think majority of our engineering graduates, isn't it? I think majority. Because that's where, you know, India has done very well because we generate about 1.4 million engineers every year. So this is the number, ladies and gentlemen. This is where we need to be focusing on the quality. Friends, a lot of positive things have happened. In the last two years, look at the companies, you know, which have become the unicorns, 110 plus. And when, I mean, Honorable Prime Minister, I heard a speech or a small bite in the video, he's talking about when in 2014, when he took over, there were 100 startups in the entire country. Today, more than 1.2 lakh startups. So, how these startups ecosystem has emerged just like that? There is a lot of hard work done by the Ministry of Education and many of you, every one of you have contributed to that.
friends research and innovation is going to be the focus that's going to be the future of india and ai is going to pitch into that ai is the future of innovation and today with huge public the digital public infrastructure we have created to the whole world look at some of them are mind boggling in even countries like america are scared of for example vaccination how many crores we have done it's all data available digitally and aadhar is again a mind boggling exercise and the next one is going to come watch out is the skill india portal skill india portal if you have not seen please watch that it's going to integrate the entire skill ecosystem of the country skilling is going to be the key ladies and gentlemen other than the knowledge creation which i just talked about okay so india how it has done in knowledge creation let me tell you today we are number of top 5 country in the world in research publications top 5 country in the patents filing okay and awarding and top 3 in the startup creation in the world so we are no i mean we are already there ladies and gentlemen as honorable prime minister keeps on telling us and reminding us vikasit bharat a 2047 i don't think we need to wait up to 2047 it will be much before that the kind of infrastructure what we are building is the world class i got an uh, myself associated with the highest elevated rail bridge highest elevated rail bridge construction and completely done by indians okay which is across the chinab river chinab okay this is uh, it's almost uh, almost ready because the other part which connects the shrinagar to jammu is the one i am talking about okay right now you know the trains are running up to katra which is the vishnu devi temple many of you might have visited but the already trains are running in the valley in the shrinagar valley but the connection was not there so this is the bridge chinab bridge which is 355 meter above the river bed level of chinab and the entire slope stability for 15 years it has taken almost 15 years so i got associated in 2004 with this project and we were there up to 2019 till this foundations stability i am a geotechnical engineer completed that another classical example of infrastructure we have built is i can go on many so but i will tell you which is touching the hearts of every indian which is ram janmabhoomi ayodhya temple because you could see jai sri ram Sita Ram is here. <laughs> Why I am saying you is, I was associated with the foundation design of that. The entire foundation was a unique foundation designed for one thousand years life. Very unique example. Okay, it's not a an ordinary temple. Why? Because it's the aspiration of one point four billion people of India, and the way it has been projected now. all over the world ladies and gentlemen whether it is rivers of wa- water uh, come from every river and every people and it is become a movement i think whether we like it or not like it this is the time india has one unique identity for us so friends today with ai being the key in front of us innovation learning access to information personalized learning with such large digital public infrastructure what i explain to you three four of them digital literacy becomes a very important criteria friends all india council for technical education has taken a big step many of you may not know what it is doing because i would like you to take your time little time go through the websites okay this time what we have brought a completely very very revolutionary approval process For away from a regulator we opened up so quality will survive quality institutions will survive and we have brought the entire undergraduate education in management and undergraduate education in computer applications into the fold of quality they will be working they will be giving degrees wherever they were giving before their administration will be same 
but the quality initiatives whether teachers training are maintaining this standard of teacher student ratio and then new curriculum with mandatory internship friends i have to talk about two two initiatives of iict one is the iict internship portal today has more than 2 crore verified student registered on our portal 75000 plus companies on our own portal offering the internship and this year approval process we made one semester compulsory internship to every engineering student of the country okay and aict second initiative was the placement portal which we have just started for the rural and tribal area engineering institutions only this year because we want to start first then so that they survive the wrath of all these bigger institutions so that they can show the placement because finally education is about employability unless there is a good employment and which we can create there is no end to whatever education we talk about is useless okay there should be a good finally people who are going to implement and help us so this is the second and the another very important is hands on experience for the our kids ai city idea labs we have created at 107 locations students are going to experience and learning if some of you have not seen please go and see the ai city idea labs they are very unique students and teachers are also getting in our atal program that is aict is teaching and learning academy is another very big initiative so we are trying to prepare for the future ladies and gentlemen with the constant evolution of technology integrating technical talent into our young kids so we made a minor degree can be obtained by any of my engineering graduate whether he is a civil engineer mechanical engineer or electrical engineer he can get a minor degree of 18 credits to 20 credits in area of of uh, data science artificial intelligence robotics okay now you can see how the future skill so has been integrated into the curriculum friends aict has also planned to incorporate new areas like semiconductors actually uh, as chairman aict i am the responsible person for implementation of semiconductor capacity building in the country I, i can tell you my institutions more than 300 totally including if you include the master's degree program 600 institutions are offering programs in semiconductor why is this is important friends as you just talked about ai semiconductors are also pervasive friends it is there with every one of you today you are carrying them is going to be revolutionary if you don't really reinvent the wheel on the semiconductor area it is only some countries like taiwan and china and they have really a market force is concentrated over today today what you are seeing all these tension just like what happened in the kuwait war about oil and today the tensions are all because of semiconductors i oil is still remaining because we have seen that is happening in ukraine as well friends it's again it's a golden time amrut kal is here ladies and gentlemen in this amrut kal whatever you attempt to do will become very fruitful it's going to be realistic and you are going to be successful we have seen chandrayaan aditya l1 we were able to place a poor country which you could not feed can send these things how is that possible Mangalyaan is the cheapest flight mission anywhere in the world it has happened who are these engineers are you ask them including the chairman isro i was with him just last month he was he, i was privileged to actually asked by him to release his book okay i was with him in the isro headquarter friends believe me all the scientists are all from aict institutions not from iits not from mits so you can see we have created a talent in the area of stem and this is the force to reckon with and this talent is going to be there 
and we are going to be the engineers of the world by 2047 india would be developed country is the dream is no more a dream ladies and gentlemen it's the reality we need to put hands together all of us have to put hands together in these areas and i think this is the time and which is never there for india 16th century belong to whom 16th century was the belong to netherlands that's the time the sailing started 17th century and 18th century belong to british okay 19th century after the world war 2 was america's time after the covid it is india's time ladies and gentlemen thank you very much to stay informed about the startup ecosystem subscribe to my startup tv